Hey my babies, welcome back to the channel. Hey my K-Days, hey my K-Dogs. You guys, today is day two of Vlogmas. Y'all read that title right. Yes, y'all read it right. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little rundown. So while I'm giving y'all a little rundown, I will be eating some popcorn. I don't know if y'all remember these. Do y'all remember these little buckets like when y'all was little like these are so cute they have at least like uh three different more i want to get every kind like i want to get every last one of them because they are so freaking cute and in the inside they have three different kinds of popcorn they have the caramel the cheddar and the butter y'all say in bags when um i was little they used to have like a little divider in here and have it like that but they changed up. Anyways, y'all. So, let's hop into this little store, right? Okay. Okay, y'all. So, it is safe to say that the police has caught the bitch that shot me. Yay. Y'all, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not really that excited that they caught her because I wanted to catch her myself. You know what I mean? But they caught her, so you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, it's, something is better than nothing. Um, there's one more person who they have to get, and they're going to get her too. So if you're watching this, baby girl, because you stay stalking my shit, you next hoe. So anyways, let me just tell y'all, you know, the little rundown of how it went. So this morning, I get a phone call. Actually, the first phone call I got, I was asleep. So I called him back when I got up. And he was like, um, he was in the middle of something. He was like, I'll give you a call back later. So a few hours went by and he didn't call me back. So I'm like, well, let me call him back in case he forgot about me. So I called him back. And at this time, you guys, I'm headed to the store or whatever. So... He answered the phone. I'm like, yeah, hey, you know, I was just returning your call. Just, you know, make sure you haven't forgotten about me. He was like, no, I haven't forgotten about you. But since you're on the phone, um, let me just go ahead and tell you. He was like, we issued a warrant for such and such. So he was like, there is a warrant out for her arrest. And he was like, um, you know, whenever we catch her, he was like, whenever we catch her, you know, then we'll go from there. So I'm like, so basically, cause like I said, the girl that they caught that's in jail now, that's not really the girl I was worried about. Like, even though that's the one that shot me, like I said, I wanted to see her for myself. Cause me and her, like we never fought or anything. Like, you know, like it's okay to fight if you just gonna have a fight and keep it kicking. Like, to be honest, we are all older. Like, everybody's older. So, you know, honestly, it's like, there's no reason we should be fighting. But there's certain things that, you know, you just, you can't really avoid. Like, there are certain things that you just got to fight about. Like, you got to stand, stand your ground, and you got to fight. But that doesn't mean you take out a gun and start shooting. Like, no, you don't mean that. So, anyways, like I said, I wanted to see her for myself. But her accomplisher... That was the girl I was like, you know, I really wanted them to get. I'm like, you know, had she not brought her over here, that would have never happened. Because this other chick, she don't have a car. She's a bum. She wasn't going to be able to get to me. So I'm like, had the other girl not brought her over here, that wouldn't have happened in the first place. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, let me tell y'all something about me. I'm the type of person, like, I don't believe in calling the police. Like, I seriously believe in... Just like handling things without having to involve the police. So even when I got shot, I wasn't the person that called the police. Like my neighbor called the police. So I'm saying that to say, I I would really prefer to keep the police out of everything. But being that so much has happened, you know what I'm saying? Like this the same people I've been pretty much dealing with. So being that so much has happened, I'm like, you know what, fuck it. The best way to get them is to, 
You know what I'm saying? Get in their pockets. And I'm thinking about, I'm thinking this about the other girl. I need to get on that. I need to say girl one and girl two. So girl one is the girl that shot me. Girl two is the girl that brought her. Girl two is the girl I had a fight with. So anyways, I'm like, like I said, forget girl one. I want to see her for myself. But girl two, I'm just like, tired of your shit. All you do is talk, 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 talk. It's for years, it's been a whole lot of just backwards and forth, nothing but drama, mess. I'm like, you know, that fight was, that fight was going to happen regardless, you guys, because it's been shit for years, like for years. So that fight was going to happen regardless. The whole shooting thing, I don't, you know, I think if me and her, me and girl too, had a fight, you know, probably years ago or just had a fight with just us or whatever, then I think it would have just been that we probably just would have had a fight and it would have been a net. But, y'all, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, I was like, you know what? In order to, like, really hit this hole and hurt it, I'm just get in her pocket. So, once the police got involved and everything, I was like, fuck it, I'm finna be full throttle. Like, I'm finna go hard as a motherfucker. I'm not finna let up until something happens. So, today, when the detective called me and he told me that um, they put the warrant out for girl one, I was still kind of mad because I was like, like I said, I want to see her for myself. But girl two, I'm like, well, what about girl two? He was like, well, once we catch girl one, because that's the one that shot you, you know, we're trying to get her before we get anybody. He was like, once, once we get girl one, then we'll put the warrant out for girl two, and then we'll get girl two. So I'm like, at this point, I'm like, really? I'm like, so, you know what I'm saying? Basically, niggas is just walk around this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Living a happy, normal life. Why, I'm the only person that's really, like, suffering? Like, I'm the, I'm, like, they just living a normal life, you know, instead of going to work, instead of doing this and doing that. So at this point, I'm heated. I'm mad as a motherfucker. So... I'm on the phone, I'm telling the man, you know what I'm saying? That's how people end up dead. Like, and that's for real. Like, whether it's, you know, like, no matter which side it's on. Like, it's either, you know what I'm saying? It could be that I was so mad. Like, I get so mad and get so angry that, you know what I'm saying? They not doing nothing about it. That I go out and I kill them. Or it could be the other way around. They could probably, you know, be so scared or... You know, they can see me and don't know what type of time I'm on and they might kill me. You never know. Like, but that's how people end up dead by the police not really, you know what I'm saying, staying on top of shit. Like, if they not stand on top of it, nine times out of ten, it becomes a cold case, nothing happens, and there is no justice or there is no nothing. So, I was like, okay, well, since they don't want to do nothing, I'm going to take it in my own hands. So, I went to girl two job. I went up there. I didn't see her car outside her job. So, I went inside the job. I'm like, okay, let me see if she inside. So, I go in there. And I'm only doing this, y'all, to see exactly how hard the police work. Because I'm like, if she at work, then they not really working hard enough to find her. Even though he told me that they hadn't done the warrant for her yet. He was like, once they get girl one... They'll do the warrant for girl two, which I feel like they should have just did the warrants together and they should have just, you know, been looking for both of them together. So anyways, I go to her job. I walk back there and guess what, y'all? The bitch was at work. Like, the bitch was really at work. When she seen me, it looked like she saw a fucking ghost. She went from, hey, how you doing? Like, this is her. She's like, turn, she turned around. And she's turning around and her voice goes, hey, how you? So when she see me, that bitch goes slow. How you doing? She, I'll be right with you. I'm talking about, <laughs> it's crazy. She looks scared as a fucking ghost. So, she saw wasn't nobody else like tending to me because everybody else was busy. So she walks up there and she's like, how may I help you? Now, y'all, I am not the type of person to bring no type of drama or mess to nobody's job. Like, that's your job. 
you know, I'm gonna be respectful of your job. I'm not gonna bring no drama and no mess to your job. I just want the bitch to see me and I want to see her and I want to make sure this bitch is still coming to work. Even though she's not coming in her car, this bitch is still coming to work. So if y'all want to catch this hoe, it's really nothing to do so. So I was just like, okay, yeah, I got the hoe. I was like, nothing, I don't want you, bitch. I'm not here for you. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, okay. So, I was like, where your manager at? She was like, she's at the front. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that was that. Like I said, I was just going there to see how easy it is to find this help. So, I get home. I leave, I leave a job, like I said. I wasn't going there for no mess or no drama or nothing. I just wanted to see what this hole there. So I get home. I'll say like maybe two hours later, if that, the detective calls me back. And he's like, hey, Miss Evans, I just want to let you know we got such and such girl number one. He was like, yeah, we just got such and such. And, you know, we just wanted to let you know. And I'm like, like, I'm like, kind of like a little happy but not as happy because like I said I wanted to see her for myself <laughs> so I was like okay well okay like I said the reason I was a little happy was because the man said once he get girl number one then he could go ahead and you know what I'm saying get girl number two and like I said girl number two was the one that I really was like you know I already whooped her ass so it ain't nothing I really physically want to do to her because we already had a fight. I just want to hurt this bitch where I know it's going to hurt her at. Like, that's, yeah, them lawyers, whatever you're going to have to get, court fees and all that. Yeah, that shit going to, that shit going to hit you hard. I'm not trying to destroy the girl life, y'all. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to destroy her life. I just want to hear her ass where I heard it since, you know what I'm saying? That's all I can really do. So anyways, once he told me that, he was like, you know, yeah, now I could go ahead and start, you know, doing a warrant for girl number two. He was like, I don't think it's going to be hard to find her at all. So he was like, I don't think you got nothing to worry about with that. He was like, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know. And I'm like, okay. I was like, could you let me know like where you picked her up from, where she was, where you got it? He was like, no, I can't tell you all that. He was like, but um, once we're done talking to her, I'm going to write up my report and do a report. He was like, and I'll call you back. I don't know if he said I'll be able to get the report or whatever, or he'll read it to me. But he was like, once he did the report, then, you know, he'll let me know more. So I was like, okay, cool. So, yeah, that was pretty much it, y'all. I know, like, a lot of my family and a lot of my friends was like, you know, they wanted the police to catch her. Like, they wanted her, like caught or whatever you know just so there could be some type of justice served even though like I said I wanted to see her <laughs> like a lot of my family and friends they wanted her to be caught you know what I'm saying so I know a lot of y'all are happy I know a lot of y'all wanted the same thing you know y'all wanted her to be caught y'all wanted justice so I just wanted to let you guys know on the second day of vlogmas that the hoe was caught <laughs> She's gone, y'all. She's gonna be in there unless somebody blind her out or I guess until we go to court or whatever, I don't know. Um, like I said, I really did not believe in the police or even the, the, the court system itself. But y'all, this is really my last option. This is all I really have to do. Like I can't do anything else. So I'm gonna ride it out. I'm gonna go full throttle and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not the only person that has to suffer. So, that's about it, you guys. That was all this video consisted of, you guys. If there's anything y'all wanna see me do, like I keep saying, y'all got to let me know. Cause this is Vlogmas. I have 24 days of vlogging. So, yeah, y'all let me know a few things. Give me a few ideas. Let me know what y'all wanna see. Anyways, y'all, if you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and drop some comments down below. You know what I'm saying? 
Let me know how you feel about the situation. Let me know what you think, you know what I'm saying. And yeah, just give me y'all input. And if you are not subscribed, like, what are you doing? Why you not subscribed yet? Go ahead and subscribe to your girl. Turn that red button great and turn on your bell so you can be notified next time I upload a video. Okay? Good day. Anyways, you guys, I love y'all so freaking much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.